Trigonometric ratios. In this module, we will study some ratios of the sides of a right angle with respect to its acute angles called trigonometric ratios of the angle. Let us take a right angle triangle ABC right angled at B. Here, angle CAB or in brief angle A is an acute angle. Note the position of the side BC with respect to angle A. It faces angle A. We call it the side opposite to angle A. AC is the hypotenuse of the right triangle and the side AB is a part of angle A. So we call it the side adjacent to angle A. Note that the position of the sides change when you consider angle C in place of angle A. The trigonometric ratios of the angle A in right triangle ABC are defined as follows. Sine of angle A is equal to side opposite to angle A upon hypotenuse is equal to BC upon AC. Cosine of angle A is equal to side adjacent to angle A upon hypotenuse is equal to AB upon AC. Tangent of angle A is equal to side opposite to angle A upon side adjacent to angle A is equal to BC upon AB. Cosecant of angle A is equal to 1 upon sine of angle A is equal to hypotenuse upon side opposite to angle A is equal to AC upon BC. Second of angle A is equal to 1 upon cosine of angle A is equal to hypotenuse upon side adjacent to angle A is equal to AC upon AB. Cotangent of angle A is equal to 1 upon tangent of angle A is equal to side adjacent to angle A upon side opposite to angle A is equal to AB upon BC. The ratios defined above are abbreviated as sin A, cos A, tan A, cosec A, sec A and cot A respectively. Note that the ratios cosec A, sec A and cot A are respectively the reciprocals of the ratios sin A, cos A and tan A. Also observe that tan A is equal to BC upon AB. By dividing both numerator and denominator by AC we get BC upon AC upon AB upon AC is equal to sin A upon cos A and cot A is equal to cos A upon sin A. So the trigonometric ratios of an acute angle in a right triangle express the relationship between the angle and the length of its sides. We have defined six trigonometric ratios of an acute angle. Sin A, Cos A, Tan A, Cosec A, Sec A and Cot A. If we know any one of the ratios, can we obtain the other ratios? Let us see with an example. Given tan A is equal to 5 upon 12, find the other trigonometric ratios of angle A. Let us first draw a right triangle ABC. Now, we know that tan A is equal to BC upon AB is equal to 5 upon 12. Therefore, if BC is equal to 5K, then AB is equal to 12K, where K is a positive number. Now by using the Pythagoras theorem, we have 
AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This is equal to the whole square of 12K plus whole square of 5K which is equal to 169K square. So by taking square root on both sides, we get AC is equal to 13K. Now, we can write all the trigonometric ratios using their definitions. Sin A is equal to BC upon AC is equal to 5K upon 13K which is equal to 5 upon 13. And cos A is equal to AB upon AC is equal to 12K upon 13K which is equal to 12 upon 13. The ratios cot A, cosec A and sec A are the reciprocals of the ratios tan A, sin A and cos A respectively. Therefore, cot A is equal to 1 upon tan A is equal to 12 upon 5. Cosec A is equal to 1 upon sin A is equal to 13 upon 5. And sec A is equal to 1 upon cos A is equal to 13 upon 12. Trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. In this module, we will learn trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. We are already familiar with the construction of angles of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. Now we will find the values of the trigonometric ratios for these angles and of course for 0 degrees. First we will discuss trigonometric ratios of 45 degrees. The value for the trigonometric ratios of 45 degrees are Sine 45 degrees is equal to 1 upon under root 2. Cos 45 degrees is equal to 1 upon under root 2. Tan 45 degrees is equal to 1. Also, cosec 45 degrees is equal to 1 upon sine 45 degrees is equal to under root 2. Sec 45 degrees is equal to 1 upon cos 45 degrees is equal to under root 2. Cot 45 degrees is equal to 1 upon tan 45 degrees is equal to 1. Let us now calculate the trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon 2. Cos 30 degrees is equal to under root 3 upon 2. Tan 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon under root 3. Also, cosec 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon sin 30 degrees is equal to 2. Sec 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon cos 30 degrees is equal to 2 upon under root 3. Cot 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon tan 30 degrees is equal to under root 3. Similarly, sin 60 degrees is equal to under root 3 upon 2. Cos 60 degrees is equal to 1 upon 2. Tan 60 degrees is equal to under root 3. Cosec 60 degrees is equal to 2 upon under root 3. Sec 60 degrees is equal to 2. And cot 60 degrees is equal to 1 upon under root 3. Now let us discuss trigonometric ratios of 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Sin 0 degrees is equal to 0. Cos 0 degrees is equal to 1. Tan 0 degrees is equal to sin 0 degrees upon cos 0 degrees is equal to 0. 
cot 0 degrees is equal to 1 upon tan 0 degrees which is not defined because division by 0 is not defined. Sec 0 degrees is equal to 1 upon cos 0 degrees is equal to 1. And cosec 0 degrees is equal to 1 upon sin 0 degrees which is also not defined. Sin 90 degrees is equal to 1. Cos 90 degrees is equal to 0. Tan 90 degrees is equal to sin 90 degrees upon cos 90 degrees which is not defined. Let's put all the values learned till now in the form of a table so that it is easier for us to memorize these values. Let us take some examples which make use of these values. Evaluate sin 60 degrees into cos 30 degrees plus sin 30 degrees into cos 60 degrees. Let us solve this. Sin 60 degrees into cos 30 degrees plus sin 30 degrees into cos 60 degrees. From the table of values of trigonometric ratios, Sin 60 degrees is equal to under root 3 upon 2. Cos 30 degrees is also equal to under root 3 upon 2. Sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon 2. And cos 60 degrees is also equal to 1 upon 2. Let's put these values in the given expression. We get under root 3 upon 2 into under root 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 which is equal to 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4. It gives 3 plus 1 upon 4 is equal to 4 upon 4 which is equal to 1. Let us do one more example. Evaluate 5 into cos square 60 degrees plus 4 sec square 30 degrees minus tan square 45 degrees upon sin square 30 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees. Let us solve this. As per given values of trigonometric ratios, cos 60 degrees is equal to 1 upon 2, sec 30 degrees is equal to 2 upon under root 3, tan 45 degrees is equal to 1, and sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon 2, cos 30 degrees is equal to under root 3 upon 2. Let's put these values in the given expression. We get 5 into 1 upon 2 whole square plus 4 into 2 upon under root 3 whole square minus 1 square upon 1 upon 2 whole square plus under root 3 upon 2 whole square which is equal to 5 into 1 upon 4 plus 4 into 4 upon 3 minus 1 upon 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4. This gives 5 upon 4 plus 16 upon 3 minus 1 upon 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4. By taking LCM we get 15 plus 64 minus 12 upon 12 upon 1 plus 3 upon 4. This is equal to 67 upon 12 upon 4 upon 4 which is equal to 67 upon 12. In this module, we will learn trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. we shall know what complementary angles are. Two angles are said to be complementary if their sum equals 90 degrees. In 
triangle ABC right angled at B, do you see any pair of complementary angles? Since angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees, they form such a pair. Now, sin A is equal to BC upon AC, cos A is equal to AB upon AC, tan A is equal to BC upon AB, cosec A is equal to AC upon BC, sec A is equal to AC upon AB, and cot A is equal to AB upon BC. Now let us write the trigonometric ratios for angle C is equal to 90 degrees minus angle A. For convenience, we shall write 90 degrees minus A instead of 90 degrees minus angle A. What would be the side opposite and the side adjacent to the angle 90 degrees minus A? Here, AB is the side opposite and BC is the side adjacent to the angle 90 degrees minus A. Therefore, sine 90 degrees minus A is equal to AB upon AC. Cos 90 degrees minus A is equal to BC upon AC. Tan 90 degrees minus A is equal to AB upon BC. Cosec 90 degrees minus A is equal to AC upon AB. Sec 90 degrees minus A is equal to AC upon BC. And cot 90 degrees minus A is equal to BC upon AB. Now compare the ratios of angle A and angle 90 degrees minus A. Observe that sin 90 degrees minus A is equal to AB upon AC is equal to cos A. Cos 90 degrees minus A is equal to BC upon AC is equal to sin A. Tan 90 degrees minus A is equal to AB upon BC is equal to cot A. Cosec 90 degrees minus A is equal to AC upon AB is equal to sec A. Sec 90 degrees minus A is equal to AC upon BC is equal to cosec A. Cot 90 degrees minus A is equal to BC upon AB is equal to tan A. So, sin 90 degrees minus A is equal to cos A. Cos 90 degrees minus A is equal to sin A. Tan 90 degrees minus A is equal to cot A. Cot 90 degrees minus A is equal to tan A. Sec 90 degrees minus A is equal to cosec A. Cosec 90 degrees minus A is equal to sec A. For all values of angle A lying between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Let us take some examples to understand more clearly. Evaluate sin 65 degrees minus cos 25 degrees. We know that sin A is equal to cos 90 degrees minus A. So, sin 65 degrees is equal to cos 90 degrees minus 65 degrees is equal to cos 25 degrees. Therefore, sin 65 degrees minus cos 25 degrees is equal to cos 25 degrees minus cos 25 degrees that is equal to zero. Let us do one more example. Express cot 75 degrees plus sine 75 degrees in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 degrees and 45 degrees. Cot 75 degrees plus sine 75 degrees is equal to 
cot 90 degrees minus 15 degrees plus sin 90 degrees minus 15 degrees which is equal to tan 15 degrees plus cos 15 degrees Trigonometric identities In this module, we will discuss about trigonometric identities. We know an equation is called an identity when it is true for all values of the variables involved. Similarly, an equation involving trigonometric ratios of an angle is called a trigonometric identity if it is true for all values of the angles involved. Consider a right angle triangle ABC right angled at B. In triangle ABC by Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. This is equation 1. Dividing each term of equation 1 by AC square, we get AB square upon AC square plus BC square upon AC square is equal to AC square upon AC square. Which implies AB upon AC whole square plus BC upon AC whole square is equal to AC upon AC whole square. This gives whole square of cos A plus whole square of sin A is equal to 1. That is cos square A plus sin square A is equal to 1. This is equation 2. This is true for all A such that A is greater than equal to 0 degrees but less than equal to 90 degrees. So this is a trigonometric identity. Let us now divide equation 1 by AB square. We get AB square upon AB square plus BC square upon AB square is equal to AC square upon AB square. Which implies AB upon AB whole square plus BC upon AB whole square is equal to AC upon AB whole square. This gives 1 plus tan square A is equal to sec square A. This is now equation 3. Is this equation true for A is equal to 0 degrees? Yes, it is. What about for A is equal to 90 degrees? Well, tan A and sec A are not defined for A is equal to 90 degrees. So equation 3 is true for all A such that A is greater than equal to 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees. Let us now divide equation 1 by BC square. We get AB square upon BC square plus BC square upon BC square is equal to AC square upon BC square. Which implies AB upon BC whole square plus BC upon BC whole square is equal to AC upon BC whole square. This gives cot square A plus 1 is equal to cosec square A. This is now equation 4. Note that cosec A and cot A are not defined for A is equal to 0 degrees. Therefore, equation 4 is true for all A such that A is greater than 0 degrees but less than equal to 90 degrees. Using these identities, we can express each trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratios. That is, if any one of the ratios is known, 
we can also determine the values of other trigonometric ratios. Let us see how we can do this using these identities. Express the ratios sin A, tan A and cosec A in terms of cos A. Let us solve this. Since cos square A plus sin square A is equal to 1, therefore, sin square A is equal to 1 minus cos square A which implies sin A is equal to plus minus under root 1 minus cos square A. We will not consider the negative square root. This gives sin A is equal to under root 1 minus cos square A. Hence, tan A is equal to sin A upon cos A is equal to under root 1 minus cos square A upon cos A. And cosec A is equal to 1 upon sin A is equal to 1 upon under root 1 minus cos square A. Let us take one more example. Prove that cosec A into 1 minus cos A into cosec A plus cot A is equal to 1. Let us solve this by first simplifying left hand side. LHS is equal to cosec A into 1 minus cos A into cosec A plus cot A which is equal to 1 upon sin A into 1 minus cos A into 1 upon sin A plus cos A upon sin A. Taking LCM and simplifying we get 1 minus cos A into 1 plus cos A upon sin square A using the identity cos square A plus sin square A is equal to 1. We get 1 minus cos square A upon sin square A is equal to sin square A upon sin square A is equal to 1. This is same as right hand side. Hence proved. Trigonometric Identities Let's take the next example. Prove that 1 minus cos square theta by 1 plus sin theta is equal to sin theta. Let's solve this. Taking LHS 1 minus in place of cos square theta, we can write 1 minus sin square theta divided by 1 plus sin theta is equal to 1 minus. For 1 minus sin square theta, we can write 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta. 1 plus sin theta gets cancelled with 1 plus sin theta. We are left with 1 minus 1 minus sin theta which is equal to sin theta which is equal to RHS. Let's take the next example. Prove that cos A by 1 minus tan A plus sin A by 1 minus cot A is equal to sin A plus cos A. Let's solve this. Taking LHS cos A upon 1 minus in place of tan A, we can write sin A by cos A plus sin A by 1 minus in place of cot A, we can write cos A by sin A. This becomes equal to cos A by taking denominator as cos A. Numerator becomes cos A minus sin A plus sin A by taking denominator as sin A numerator becomes sin A minus cos A. This becomes equal to cos square A by cos A minus sin A plus sin square A by sin A minus cos A is equal to cos square A by cos A minus sin A minus sin square A by cos A minus sin A. This is equal to taking cos A minus sin A as denominator in the numerator, we have cos square A minus sin square A by cos A minus sin A 
is equal to making use of the formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b. This becomes equal to cos a plus sin a into cos a minus sin a divided by cos a minus sin a. Cos a minus sin a gets cancelled with cos a minus sin a. This becomes equal to sin a plus cos a which is equal to RHS. Let's take the next example. If sin a plus cos a is equal to root 2, find the value of sin a cos a. Let's solve this. Here it is given that sin a plus cos a is equal to root 2 or sin a plus cos a whole square is equal to 2. This we obtain by squaring both the sides or sin square a plus 2 sin a cos a plus cos square a is equal to 2 or in place of sin square a plus cos square a we can write 1 plus 2 sin a cos a is equal to 2 this implies 2 sin a cos a is equal to 2 minus 1 equal to 1 therefore sin a cos a is equal to 1 by 2 Let's take the next example. Solve tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2 where 0 degrees is less than theta is less than 90 degrees. Let's solve this. Here tan theta plus in place of cot theta we can write 1 by tan theta is equal to 2. This implies taking tan theta as denominator in the numerator we'll have tan square theta plus 1 is equal to 2 or on cross multiplication we have tan square theta plus 1 is equal to 2 tan theta this implies bringing 2 tan theta to the other side tan square theta minus 2 tan theta plus 1 is equal to 0 or tan theta minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 this implies tan theta minus 1 is equal to 0 this implies tan theta is equal to 1 or tan theta is equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, theta is equal to 45 degrees. Let's take the next example. If 5 cos theta plus 12 sin theta is equal to 13, find sin theta. Let's solve this. Here, 5 cos theta is equal to 13 minus 12 sin theta. Therefore, on squaring both the sides, 5 cos theta whole square is equal to 13 minus 12 sin theta whole square or 25 cos square theta is equal to 169 minus 312 sin theta plus 144 sin square theta. This implies 25 in place of cos square theta we can write 1 minus sin square theta is equal to 169 minus 312 sin theta plus 144 sin square theta. Or on simplification, we get 169 sin square theta minus 312 sin theta plus 144 is equal to 0. This implies 13 sin theta minus 12 whole square is equal to 0. Therefore, 13 sin theta minus 12 is equal to 0. This implies sin theta is equal to 12 by 13. Let's take the next example. If root 3 sin theta minus cos theta is equal to 0, prove that tan 2 theta is equal to twice tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. Let's solve this. Here, root 3 sin theta is equal to cos theta or sin theta by cos theta is equal to 1 by root 3 or tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 this implies theta is equal to 30 degrees therefore tan 2 theta is equal to tan 2 into 30 degrees is equal to tan of 60 degrees is equal to root 3 and twice tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta is equal to 
twice tan 30 degrees divided by 1 minus tan square 30 degrees is equal to 2 into 1 by root 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by root 3 whole square is equal to 2 by root 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 which becomes equal to 2 by root 3 by 2 by 3 is equal to 2 by root 3 into 3 by 2 is equal to root 3. So, we can say tan 2 theta is equal to twice tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. Examples of Trigonometrical Ratios Let's take an example. If tan theta is equal to P by Q, show that P sine theta minus Q cos theta divided by P sine theta plus Q cos theta is equal to P square minus Q square by P square plus Q square. Let's solve this. Let's take the LHS first. P sine theta minus Q cos theta divided by P sine theta plus Q cos theta is equal to Dividing numerator and denominator by cos theta we get P sine theta by cos theta minus Q cos theta by cos theta divided by P sine theta by cos theta plus Q cos theta by cos theta. Cos theta gets cancelled with cos theta in terms containing Q and in terms containing P sine theta by cos theta can be written as tan theta. So this becomes equal to P tan theta minus Q upon P tan theta plus Q. As given in the question, tan theta is equal to P by Q. So in place of tan theta, we can write P by Q. So this becomes equal to P into P by Q minus Q upon P into P by Q plus Q. Taking the LCM, we have P square minus Q square by Q upon P square plus Q square by Q. This is equal to P square minus Q square by Q divided by P square plus Q square by Q is equal to P square minus Q square by Q into taking the reciprocal Q upon P square plus Q square Q gets cancelled with Q and we are left with P square minus Q square divided by P square plus Q square. Let's take the next example. If A cos A is equal to 1 and B cot A is equal to 1, prove that A square minus B square is equal to 1. Let's solve this. It is given in the question that A cos A is equal to 1. This implies A is equal to 1 by cos A. This implies A is equal to sec A. Call this first. Also given in the question that B cot A is equal to 1. This implies B is equal to 1 by cot A. This implies B is equal to tan A. Call this second. We know that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. This implies sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Therefore, from first and second, we get a square minus b square is equal to sec square a minus tan square a, which according to our identity is equal to 1. Hence proved. Let's take the next example. If A cos theta plus B sin theta is equal to X and A sin theta minus B cos theta is equal to Y, prove that X square plus Y square is equal to A square plus B square. Let's solve this. It is given that X is equal to A cos theta plus B sin theta. Call this first y is equal to a sin theta minus b cos theta, call this second. Squaring and adding both first and second, we get x square plus y square is equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta whole square 
plus a sin theta minus b cos theta whole square is equal to applying the formula of a plus b whole square a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta plus twice a b cos theta sin theta plus a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta minus 2 a b sin theta cos theta. This is equal to here twice a b cos theta sin theta gets cancelled and taking a square common inside the bracket we'll have cos square theta plus sin square theta plus taking b square common inside the bracket we'll have sin square theta plus cos square theta. This is equal to a square into 1 plus b square into 1 is equal to a square plus b square. Let's take the next example. Prove 1 plus tan square theta into 1 plus sine theta into 1 minus sine theta is equal to 1. Let's solve this. Taking the LHS, 1 plus tan square theta into 1 plus sine theta into 1 minus sine theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta into 1 minus sine square theta. As we know that a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. This is equal to 1 plus tan square theta is sec square theta and 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So this becomes equal to, in place of sec square theta, we can write 1 by cos square theta and this is multiplied to cos square theta, this comes as 1 which is equal to our RHS. Examples of Trigonometrical Ratios of Standard Angles Let's take an example. Evaluate the following expressions. First part, sin 30 degrees into cos 45 degrees plus cos 30 degrees into sin 45 degrees plus sin 0 degrees into cos 0 degrees. In first part, sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied to cos 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 plus cos 30 degrees is root 3 by 2 into sin 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 plus sin 0 is 0 into cos 0 is 1. This becomes equal to 1 by 2 root 2 plus root 3 by 2 root 2 is equal to taking 2 root 2 as LCM 1 plus root 3 comes in the denominator. So this becomes equal to 1 plus root 3 divided by 2 root 2. Second part is 4 tan square 45 degrees minus 8 cos square 60 degrees plus sine square 60 degrees plus cos square 90 degrees. Putting in the values here, this becomes 4 into tan 45 is 1, so we have 1 square here, minus 8 into 1 by 2 square as cos 60 is 1 by 2 plus sine 60 is root 3 by 2, so we have root 3 by 2 whole square here plus cos 90 is 0, so we have 0 square here. This becomes equal to 4 minus 8 into 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus 0. This is equal to 4 minus 2 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 by 4 which is equal to 2 3 by 4. Let's take the next example. Prove that first part tan 60 degrees minus tan 30 degrees divided by 1 plus tan 60 degrees tan 30 degrees is equal to tan 30 degrees. Taking the LHS tan 60 is root 3 minus tan 30 is 1 by root 3 divided by 1 plus tan 60 is root 3 into tan 30 that is 1 by root 3. This becomes equal to in the numerator taking root 3 as the denominator we get 3 minus 1 by root 3 
and in the denominator root 3 gets cancelled with root 3 so we have 1 plus 1. This becomes equal to 2 by root 3 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 by root 3 and we know that 1 by root 3 is equal to tan 13. Therefore LHS is equal to RHS. Taking the second part cos 30 degrees plus sin 60 degrees divided by 1 plus sin 30 degrees minus cos 60 degrees is equal to tan 60 degrees. Putting in the values this becomes equal to cos 30 degrees is root 3 by 2 plus sin 60 degrees is root 3 by 2 divided by 1 plus sin 30 is 1 by 2 minus cos 60 is 1 by 2. This becomes equal to, in the numerator taking 2 LCM, this becomes 2 root 3 by 2 divided by, in denominator 1 by 2 cancels with minus 1 by 2 and we are left with 1. This becomes equal to 2 cancels with 2 root 3. And we know that tan 60 degrees is equal to root 3. Let's take the next example. If sine of a plus b is equal to 1 and cos of a minus b is equal to root 3 by 2, then find a and b. Let's solve this. Sine a plus b is equal to 1 and we know that sine 90 degrees is also equal to 1. This implies a plus b is equal to 90. Call this first. Also given in the question is cos a minus b is equal to root 3 by 2 which is equal to cos 30 degrees. This implies a minus b is equal to 30 degrees. Call this second. Add first and second we get b and minus b gets cancelled. Twice a is equal to 120 degrees. This implies a is equal to 60 degrees. Putting A is equal to 60 degrees in first, we get 60 degrees plus B is equal to 90 degrees. This implies B is equal to 30 degrees. Hence, A is equal to 60 degrees and B is equal to 30 degrees.